In Romans chapter 5, the Apostle Paul writes, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound, or super abounded. There's a remarkable story of Dr. John Toller in an old book called The Three Friends of God by Francis Bevan. Back in the 14th century, the Pope had a battle with Louis of Bavaria and had banned preaching in Bavaria because Louis would not submit to him. And this included the city of Strasbourg. But in the city of Strasbourg, although the Pope had banned all preaching in that city, Dr. John Toller continued to preach. And multitudes of people flocked to hear him preach. There was one man who came from quite a distance, Nicholas from Basel in Switzerland. And for five days, he listened to the preaching of Dr. Toller. Afterwards, he went to see him and asked if he might hear his confession. And week after week, he listened to Dr. Toller preach. And then finally, one day as they were meeting, he asked Dr. Toller if he would preach a sermon that would describe the way that a person could reach their pinnacle, the, the closest, the nearness of God, that they could be the holiest they could be, that they could reach the full potential that God intended for the human race. And Dr. Toller said, well, how would you ever understand it? And Nicholas of Basel said, yes, I'm just a common man, but perhaps even if only one person in the audience could understand it and apply it, it would be worth it, wouldn't it? Well, after some time, Dr. Toller prepared very carefully and he preached this great sermon. And uh, sometimes after, Nicholas met with him and said to Dr. Toller, I want to make my confession to you. And Toller said, uh, I'm glad to hear it. And Nicholas said, I'm not sure you will be happy to hear my confession. Oh yes, said Dr. Toller, I've heard many confessions before this. And Nicholas said, well, I don't think you'll be happy because it has to do with you. And Dr. Toller said, in what way? And, and uh, Nicholas of Basel said, well, sir, I, I perceive that you're a Pharisee. A Pharisee, said Toller. Yes, said Nicholas. You remember how the Lord Jesus told the people, do what the Pharisees say, but don't do what they do. In other words, they don't do what they tell you to do. And Dr. Toller was quite offended at this. And Nicholas said, well, I've been writing down your sermon. And Toller was astounded at how carefully Nicholas had copied the message, line for line, word for word, and Nicholas said, read it, and if there's one word out of place, tell me so that I can correct it. And Toller said, I, I perceive that you're a wiser man than I knew. And so Dr. Toller said, be my teacher. And oh, said Nicholas, I couldn't be your teacher, but you can be your own teacher. This will be your ABCs. Now you take your own sermon and you live like this. Well, time went by and Toller was deeply grieved and he said to Nicholas, you must give me another lesson. I can't do this one. Oh, said Nicholas, in school you don't get a new lesson until you've mastered the old. You'll have to work harder at it. Maybe you need to starve yourself. Maybe you need to whip yourself. You need to uh, uh, renounce things and, and push away your pleasures. But he said, don't sell your books. You may use them. You may need them someday. And so Dr. Toller continued on this, this journey, uh, seeking to empty himself, but the more he did it, the more he realized how incapable he was. And it's like a man who imagines that he could make his own wings and fly. But what he needs to do is try and fly with those wings, and he'll be convinced very quickly that that's not going to work. And so people who surmise that they could keep the law, that they could please God, are not really those who are trying because the more you try, the more you realize how impossible it is to please God. Finally, Nicholas came to Dr. Toller, who by this time had grown sick and weary 
had been rejected by his friends, was living alone, and Nicholas said to Dr. Toller, there is another way. Having brought him to the end of himself and the realization that the law could not produce righteousness in him, Nicholas then expounded to him the glorious gospel of the grace of God. And God saved Toller. And Toller began then to proclaim the gospel and he was greatly persecuted for this. And you can read the whole story, it's quite a marvelous thing, in a book called The Three Friends of God, it tells the story of, of John Toller and Nicholas of Basil and Suso, three remarkable men who were linked with uh, those who were known as the Friends of God or the Lollards of the 1400s. And uh, may God bless you as you think about this amazing story. Uh, sometimes we need to bring before people the requirements of the law in order that they understand they cannot satisfy God's law. And at that point then, we can open to them this glorious message. When by the law they could not come to righteousness, God provided another way. It was the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ to all who believe. May God bless you and uh, encourage you in your own personal witness as you speak to people and bring before them the fact that what the law could not do, God sending his own son provided in salvation through faith. Thank you.